In order to simplify this, let's start by factoring the numerator. The greatest common factor of 7x squared plus 28x is 7x, so let's factor that out. If we take a 7x out of 7x squared, we're left with x. If we take a 7x out of 28x, we're left with a 4, plus 4. And we'll work on the denominator in a little bit. Okay, so now we notice that the numerator is completely factored, so we're ready to work on the denominator. This is a standard type of quadratic, so the way we go about factoring it is kind of like our trial and error. We have our set of parentheses, and now we need to decide what goes in the first slot of each. Since x squared is my first term here, I know that I want an x in the first slot of each. Now I notice that my last term is a perfect square of 16. So when my first and my last terms are perfect squares, it's a good indication that the first and the last terms of each of these guys are going to be their square roots. Okay, so the square root of 16 is 4, so I'm going to try a plus 4 and a plus 4. Okay, so just quickly checking this, if I FOIL x plus 4 times x plus 4, I need to get x squared plus 8x plus 16. So we'll just quickly FOIL in our head x times x, that gives us the x squared we need, plus 4x plus 4x gives us the 8x that we need, and finally 4 times 4 gives us the 16 that we need. So x plus 4 times x plus 4 is the, compl is, is the correct factorization of x squared plus 8x plus 16. So now that the top and the bottom are completely factored, we're ready to do our canceling. So we notice that the only common factor between the top and the bottom is x plus 4. So we need to cancel this x plus 4 with that x plus 4, and we're left with 7x in the top and x plus 4 in the bottom. So note that we cannot, even though there's an x in the top and there's an x in the bottom, we cannot cancel these. Okay, Remember, we cannot cancel anything that's within a sum. We can only cancel things when they're being multiplied. Okay, so this x is part of the sum of x plus 4. We cannot cancel any individual piece. So the top and the bottom no longer have any factors in common, so we're completely done simplifying our original rational expression.